What is up guys, it is Nick here, and yesterday you guys really enjoyed the story time, the time I almost got murdered at a water park, uh, so I appreciate the love and support on that video. So I decided today, we're going back to back, I'm going to bring you guys another story. Uh, this one is the time, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, uh, my friend and I decided to climb our elementary school. So if you like this video, please drop a like. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, I would highly advise subscribing. Uh, guys, I cannot believe I started posting regularly like a couple weeks ago and we're already at almost 2,500 subscribers. That is insane. I did not expect that to happen, but I appreciate it. And let's go ahead. Let's get into the story. <laughs> So I can't really remember, but the year is either 2016 or 2017. Uh, I was either a freshman or a sophomore in high school at this point. And I'm over at my friend's house. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. And he, he brings up this idea to me. He goes, dude, what if we climbed our elementary school? Now, to, to help you guys get a better understanding, our elementary school is in his neighborhood. It's an easy walk. Like, it is right there. And so uh, I say, sure, let's do it. At the time, great idea. Looking back on it, terrible idea. We get there with no ladder and no clue on how we're gonna get to the roof. And then, you know, it's about, I'd say 10, 15, maybe even 20 feet in the air. And we decide we're gonna spider walk it. And there were two walls that were pretty close to each other that we could definitely get some grip on. We're like, okay, this is a great idea. Let's do it. And we try maybe 10 times. Fail after fail after fail, and eventually we're just like, all right, whatever, we're gonna go home. Then I say, dude, I'm gonna give it one last try, everything I got. Now the problem was, once you got halfway up, it started getting really slippery. Finally, on the last try, I make it all the way to the roof, pull myself up, and I'm like, dude, you gotta come with him. Also, side note, his younger sister was there with us. We're chilling at the top, and we get a great view of the whole town. It's wonderful, it's nighttime, you got the lights, there's even windows at the top. You can look into the library. One problem, though, is that every time the radiator went off, it sounded like someone was opening a door, and we thought for sure we were busted every time. It was like a mini heart attack every 10 minutes. Because of that, it started leading to a little bit of paranoia, and we thought that every passing car could see us. So we started freaking out just a little bit. But the person that was the most freaked out was his little sister. She was still on the ground. She was still on the grass while we were up, uh, you know, just messing around on the roof. And then eventually... We look down at the sidewalk and we see this man walking his dog staring right at us on the phone. And we thought for sure this guy was calling the cops. He stood there. It was a stone cold look. You couldn't really like see his body. It kind of looked like a silhouette just because of the lighting. But this guy, we, th we knew he was calling the cops. So we look at each other and we're like, it's time to get down because there's no good way this can end. And then we come to the sudden realization that uh, because we did not bring a ladder and because we spider walked, there literally was no way down except for jumping. And I was like, either you jump down now or there's the possibility of the police coming after you and getting you down themselves. So I positioned myself, I put my stomach flat on the roof and started squirming backwards so my legs were hanging off and my, I still had control of my body. And then I just kind of was dangling there. I was holding on for dear life to the ledge. Uh, you know, I had about a 15 foot drop. My plan was I wanted to try and land on a windowsill because there was a little part of the window that stuck out that was concrete that I could land on. It was maybe three feet below me. Um, missed by a mile. I mean, didn't even get a touch on it. Uh, but I landed the correct way, the way I wanted to. I cushioned my fall and I was able to land, but my boy was still up there. He's up there on his phone. I'm like, dude, come on. After a couple minutes, he finds a cord, a little wire that is connected from the roof and the ground. And for all I know, that could have been the school's water supply. Uh, it could have been holding the whole infrastructure together, but he didn't snap it. He slid down, burned his hands as he was pretty much rappelling from the roof to the ground and uh, he finally lands everything's okay we start making our way back everybody's calm now everyone's more relaxed there was a kid that came by at one point that my friend i think paid like gave him five bucks and said don't tell anyone you saw this the man that was on the phone he was gone at this point so i'm thinking to myself thank goodness we're gonna go home no one's gonna know we're getting off scot free baby walk right into his house his mother is sitting there waiting for us, 
What I did not know is that while I was on the ground, he was up there on the phone telling his mother where we were at that point in time. She gives us a long spiel. She tells me that she's not going to tell my mother, which was the only thing I cared about because God forbid... If my mother would have found out at that point in time, I would have came home and, you know, there were a lot of flat objects in my house that she could use. I'm just saying I'm very happy that she did not inform my mother of the situation. People might say, well, Nick, you're an idiot. That's illegal. Well, you only get in trouble if you get caught. In the end, everything turned out okay. I stayed at his house. We were fine. Uh, no one got in serious, serious trouble, luckily. Um, and then a year later, I'm, I say, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead, tell my mother. Because, you know, enough time has passed where she can't whoop my ass, you know. Like, she can, she can be like, oh, what? But, you know, enough time has passed. Looking back on it, trespassing private property, not the way you probably want to go. Uh, if you learn anything from this video, I would basically just highly advise, uh, don't be an idiot and do stupid stuff like I did. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this story time as well. I got plenty more coming. I'm working on a lot of videos. Go ahead, follow me on TikTok. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Go ahead, get a comment. Uh, I like and I try to respond to all the comments that I receive. Hope you guys had a nice day and subscribe. Yeah.